This video shows you how to use bypass mode with your SawStop Compact Table Saw. Use bypass mode to cut conductive materials and to test a material for conductivity if you're not sure whether the material is conductive. Keep in mind that the brake cartridge is disabled while the saw is in bypass mode. The brake cartridge will not fire while the saw is in bypass mode. Use extra caution when cutting in bypass mode. And use bypass mode only as long as necessary to cut a conductive material. The saw stop safety system works by sending a small electrical signal through the blade. If a conductive material touches the spinning blade, the system detects the reduction in signal and activates the brake. Bypass mode prevents the system from activating the brake if there is conductive contact. Conductive materials include, but are not limited to, carbon fiber, very wet wood, and metallic films. This section shows you how to activate bypass mode and then cut a conductive material. First, make sure the brake cartridge is installed correctly. Turn on the power switch. Wait for the solid green status light to display alone. For the next couple steps, you'll need both hands free. Keep an eye on the status lights and then turn the bypass mode switch clockwise all the way to the stop and hold in that position. The red status light should flash once as soon as you turn the switch. Continue to hold the switch. Do not release yet. While continuing to hold, pull out the start-stop paddle. The red status light should flash again and the blade should spin up. As soon as the red light flashes, you can release the bypass switch. The green status light flashes slowly while the system is in bypass mode. If the material is in fact conductive, the red status light will then flash rapidly as soon as the material contacts the spinning blade. The red light continues to flash rapidly as long as the system is in bypass mode. Again, please remember to take extra caution as the brake will not activate while the saw is in bypass mode. So once again, the activation sequence is turn on the power switch, wait for the solid green status light to display alone, turn and hold the bypass mode switch. The red status light flashes once. Continue to hold the switch. Pull the start-stop paddle. The red status light flashes once again. Release the switch. And I think you'll find it's much simpler and quicker to do than to watch. Push in the start-stop pedal. The green status light will flash rapidly as the blade spins down. The system is in bypass mode until the blade comes to a complete stop. There is no protection while the blade is spinning down. When the blade stops, the system exits bypass mode automatically and returns to standby mode, the normal mode of operation. Standby mode will be active the next time you start the saw normally. At this point, if you were to pull the start-stop paddle, standby mode would be active. If you have any doubt about whether a material is conductive, you can test its conductivity. In this example, the workpiece seems a little damp, so I'll use bypass mode to test conductivity. Start the saw in bypass mode. Carefully cut the workpiece. If the red status light begins to flash rapidly, the material is conductive, and you must cut the material in bypass mode. If the material is not conductive, that is the green status light continues to flash slowly and the red light remains off, complete that cut but do not make any other cuts in bypass mode. Press the start-stop paddle and let the blade come to a complete stop. Then start the saw in standby mode and continue to cut the material. You may choose to prevent activation of bypass mode, for example, to prevent someone else from activating bypass mode inadvertently. With the saw off, pull and hold the bypass mode switch and then place a lock through the hole in the switch shaft. That's it. You have learned how to use bypass mode with your SawStop Compact Table Saw to cut conductive materials and to test for conductivity. 
The most important items to keep in mind are the brake cartridge will not activate in bypass mode. There is no protection. You must deliberately start in bypass mode for bypass mode to be active. And that the system exits bypass mode automatically when you press the start stop paddle and the blade stops spinning. If you have questions, contact SawStop Service.